Hello guys, I am back again with another view. This is on my self mock Quicksilver Toa of Speed. I have almost completely revamped Quicksilver. Um, he is really, really different. Um, but pretty much as always, I will go over the weapons first. So I'll go with the smallest one. This is his grenade belt. Um, this idea originally came from my other mock, uh, Xena. Um, she had, I believe, seven grenades, and they were put on differently. But I had to use four of those for um, a mock. Um, so now there's only three, and I was revamping Quicksilver, so I thought I might as well um, put it on here, and I came up with a different way to put it on as well. If I can get the lighting right there. And then it's basically just three little of those old ball joints, and then just the tube with some little Lego pieces on it. But that's basically it for that part. So just put that back on him, if I can get it to get on. I don't think I can. Hold on, let me see if I can get this on. Um, but the next weapon is... as I'm about to pick up some time tomorrow <sighs> okay. next weapon <coughs> is his uh his secondary blade it's not really although really it's his only blade so um it's pretty much a basic you know like weapon piece right here and then it has a little one of those like three angled thingy or jigs and then it has a little handle thing, and then it has a tube that just coils around it. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Not really much to it. And what basically happens with these is you just attach it onto the extra little pin at the top of the um, the thumb. So I just do it like that. And that's it's a pretty easy way of doing it instead of trying to get it to go some other way. Um, but his next weapon, his biggest weapon, is kind of like a staff. Um, without its little blue flame, that's kind of what it looks like. And then it's got that, and then it has this little handle, and it goes all the way down here. And then you just put his little blade on, or, or his uh, the blue flame on right there from the barracks the barracks dude and then you just put it on that little pin pull in his thumb and then that's pretty much that for his weapons um so next I'll do the lower body um I really wanted to make Quicksilver look a lot like skinnier ish so I gave him a definitely way more skinnier legs um so for the feet i gave him some smaller feet as well because other ones are kind of big i guess um i gave him these tomata feet and i gave these little things on the bottom just to cover up the holes and then this part i pretty much try to keep it as skinny as i could as i pretty much possibly could at all but um that's pretty much that right there. It's kind of basic-ish. It's not the hardest, but it's also not the easiest. And it's almost all custom, uh, or not custom, it's almost all uh, Technic. Those little Technic um, thingamajigs that are like uh, skinny. Like, you know what I mean. Um, these. Just like that skinny. Just like that. There's a lot of those used for it. And um, I kind of like that look of it. It looks pretty good. And then for the upper part, I, I really like this part. It looks pretty cool. Um, I tried to get it as close as I could for each side. Um, I have this little space right there and then I have this. And then I have his um, 
little armor plate there. It's a small one, and then it's pretty much how all that connects, if you can really see that at all. Pretty simple, it's just, uh, yeah. And then he's got these little circular things on both the back of his legs. So there's four on him so far. Um, let's see if I can get all this back on. Then his... <sighs> I really hate these grenades. They fall a lot. Because they are not put in the best, but I kind of like it because then they're able to move a lot. Just, I don't want them to move too much. Um, but... I guess now I do have to take off the grenade belt again. Um, his waist is... I thought I saw this somewhere else before, I don't really know, but, um, if anybody knows who it is, or if you are that person, then please tell me, because I'm pretty sure I saw this somewhere else, um, but it has all that stuff in the back, and then it has that right there, and then it has all that stuff, and everything, so it's pretty simple, not really much to it, you can just take off the front part. And then you can see that it's not connected in there. So, yeah. I'm going to just put on his skinny legs. And then we can start on his upper body. And pretty much the upper part of him, actually. Um, I'm going to take his little weapons off. I'm not really exactly little, but they're little to a human. So, um, for his body, it's almost the exact same. I just filled in a lot of gaps that were in it, because there were a lot of gaps in it. So, I just filled most of those in, and that's pretty much all I did to this. I didn't really do much. I kind of came up with a different way to put on the chains in the front, but that's really the only other thing besides putting up, besides filling in gaps. Like you see here, I put in all these extra pieces to fill in the gaps. And so that then he went, uh, like, lean back a lot on his waist. I put this little thing to stop it. And it's perfect because it goes, it slopes in, or slopes out a little bit. Um, so it's perfect for that type of piece that's used on the waist. But he still pretty much has the completely same body design. But I, I, um, I made the neck a little bit higher because it works better for the head. And it also looks a bit better. Um, but pretty much everything else is kind of the same on the body, which is very thick. Very thick body. Um, and then the head, there isn't really much to it. It's pretty much a basic head with mask on. But I put a lot of like detail into it with all the marker and everything all over it. I just bought um, some little Sharpie paint markers like this. There's a little um, uh, extra fine Sharpie uh, in black. And then for the other parts I used uh, I think a boldish type of silver Sharpie paint marker. And then I, and then I made his mask kind of like corrupted on one side as they would say in like the Toa uh, line or whatever. Toa story. Um, so it's like corrupted on one side and then the other side is clean. I already had the mask messed up, so I thought I, I might as well mess it up a little bit more by going over the old Sharpie marker with Sharpie paint marker. So it looks really good. I really like the detail in all of it. And I'm pretty proud of the head. I like it. And then his arms... Since part of his mask is corrupted, one of his arms is corrupted. And, um, and I guess I'll go over the corrupted arm next. So it's pretty much just Sandstorm's arm design. I really like it, the, 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 the design. So I just pretty much used it again, but in black. And then I put claws on the fingers. It looks pretty cool. I like it. And it's also pretty skinny as well. And then for his second arm on the other side, 
this one has not been corrupted so if his he wasn't corrupted then um, this is what his other arm would look like except mirrored um, but basically this is one big chunk uh, this is basically pretty much just a uh, an Ica shoulder piece with a lot of Technic plates on it. As you can see, there's one there, one there, another one there, another one there, and another one there. And then there's like a few spacers in between and little gaps. And then, it, and then this is the upper part. It's pretty easy as well. You just connect the little pin into the bottom one. The top part can come off, but it never does that unless you're trying to pull at it. And the bottom part, I think, is kind of a common design now. I'm pretty sure it was inspired by Rasha K. I think that's where this design came from. But um, I didn't cut the piece. But it has the little ball joint on each side, and it has silver parts there. It's pretty simple, and it actually does work really, really good for a uh, lower arm. Maybe even a top arm, but I haven't done that yet. And then he has his original hand. Except for this new part that I put on a little while ago, actually. It was on the, the other version I had before this one. Um, but really, I really like this arm as well. It just kind of looks kind of big right here. It looks kind of funny, but it still looks really nice. I really like the lower arm, though. It's a really nice sleekish design and yeah so when you put it all together then it looks really really nice in my opinion um with all the new changed parts and not as chunky as it was before and as flimsy and as not as professional as this one this one is pretty pro as i would i would call it at least um hopefully you watch the entire video you would see how prewish it was. Um, another thing I really want to point out that is very important is his mask has been changed, as you probably saw when I was talking about um, his head. So, yeah, I changed his mask because the other one really um, did not look as good with the rest of the like skinny body. The other mask looked kind of fattish on the sides. And also, he had almost no movement in his, uh, in his, uh, going, like, his head articulation, like, trying to go down. And it didn't really go up much either. So, I just changed the head because this head works a lot better. And it's pretty much my only other silver head to really choose from. I do, I do have the new Paro head, but I colored one of the sides blue. Actually, I colored the entire thing uh, with some, like, blue stuff like this. I just, like, put a bunch of lines all over it on both sides. And, of course, since he does not have blue in his color scheme, except for on his sword thing, um, I could not use that mask. And it didn't really look all that well with the mock either, so. Yeah. Sometimes I kind of like to also put his head like this, because it looks kind of kind of cool. Like in the in the nine movie, just the number nine and like those little dolls. I really really like that movie. And if you didn't see it, then try to find it like on demand or something. But um, the uh, number seven, she had uh, an old bird's head as like her headgear. And it had this really nice big beak. So, when you turn the head like this, it looks kind of like that. It looks like a beak, in a way. And I just really like the way it looks. I may use it sometimes if I'm uh, just, like, t showing him in a video, maybe. But, for the most part, it will probably just stay like this. Because that's the pretty much the original kind of way it was. Um, so... Yeah, that's pretty much Quicksilver in all of his awesome glory. And um, in the next video I'll do, it'll probably be on a how-to on only one part of Quicksilver.